Welcome to the Tradescores.com help video on how to exit a trade using the Trade Scores Simulator. Now the Tradescores.com simulator is helpful because it allows you to practice trading without risking your capital. Now of course once you've entered a trade you begin to earn a trade score on that trade and that's really how you get that instant feedback on whether your trade is a good one or not. But eventually you're going to have to exit the trade. And so in this video, I want to demonstrate how we do that. Let's jump over to Tradescores.com right now, and I'll walk you through the process. Once you have logged into Tradescores.com, you're going to end up at the Trade Tracker under the My Trading Desk tab. And this is where you can see your open positions in the Tradescores challenge, or in whatever challenge that you might be playing on Tradescores.com. Now here you can see that I have an open position in Apple. There's really two ways to exit a trade. One is to automatically get stopped out of the trade, and two is to manually exit the trade with either a market or limit order. Now if I wanted to change my stop loss, and you can see here now on the Apple trade I have a stop loss of $307, I can simply click on the price and a little window comes up where I can edit that stop loss amount. Now the system will not let you put in a stop loss that automatically executes you. So for example, if I enter a stop loss on Apple of $309 and click submit, it's going to tell me that I can't do that trade because the stock, Apple, is currently trading above $307. Now if I make it $308 and click submit, that trade will go through and you will see on my trade tracker that my stop loss is now set to $308. Given that the stock is currently trading at 308.68, I have a good chance of getting stopped out on this trade if the stock were to pull back 68 cents from where it is trading currently. Now something to keep in mind, the last price that you see on the trade tracker is a delayed quote. However, we use real-time pricing to exit trades and to enter trades, and so always keep that in mind that the real-time price may be different than the price you see displayed here. Now if I wanted to manually exit this trade right away, I could click on exit and that will bring up my trade ticket where I can simply sell at market or I could set a sell at limit. In other words, I could say sell this stock when it gets to $309 and if I click on place order, I now have an exit order at that price. If I want to change, and you can see now I've got a $309 exit and the ability to cancel that order, I can cancel it and that trade will now be gone and I could go in and re-enter a new exit order to sell at market click on place order and that trade will now be exited automatically because I have done a market order once you exit a trade it moves to your closed table and here you can see Apple is in the closed table I bought the stock at 308.51 I sold it at 308.54 a one day hold period a risk reward of 0.01 and a trade score of one. Well, that has been a quick review of how the Tradescores.com exiting process works. I encourage you to practice trading on the Tradescores.com simulator. It will make you a much better trader.